So we'll just keep it very informal. Don't worry about it being, yeah, it's going to be just mellow. Okay, ready? All right, this is Dan Meyer with RCR Wireless News at the CES show here in Las Vegas. I'm here with John Shear, who is with Kyocera. John, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Good to see you, Dan. Thanks. No problem. Well, let's take a look at some of the uh, Kyocera devices. Obviously, I know you guys don't have anything super new coming out for the show, but uh, the Kyocera devices are some unique devices out there on the market. I mean, a lot of companies uh, are going after the arms race of more faster processors, bigger screens. You guys have kind of found a niche where you guys are going after maybe a little more real-world capabilities. And so uh, maybe take a look at some of the things that you guys offer in the, in the, in the market today. Sure. Yeah, actually, you hit it on the head, Dan. What we have here, uh, this is our line of Hydro Series phones as well as our Torque phone. And really, you described it perfectly. There are a number of really great devices that are on the higher end of the spectrum, yeah. great tech or great specs, great features. But what we're really looking at doing is striking a very careful balance between performance and specs, durability and price, affordability. So what you see here, all of these phones are very affordable devices, prepaid in the 150 or less category, a lot of them as no low as about That's no right. subsidies. Yeah. With subsidies, a lot of them are even free. Yep. And so what you get is a very affordable device mm -hmm. with a really good feature set, mm -hmm. a strong feature set, but what really differentiates the products is they're all waterproof mm -hmm. and extra durable. Yes. And for people, who, people actually use phones in the real world. Those are some important things to have. I mean, obviously, it's great to have the biggest screens and the fastest processors, but as soon as you drop it, uh, you're in trouble. Yeah, no, you're exactly right about that. And we've seen statistics that somewhere in the neighborhood of about 100 million phones in the U.S. have been uh, destroyed by liquids. Yeah. It's hugely common. And how many phones have you seen with cracked and spider displays? With things like waterproofing, with the, uh, the, the hardened glass, yeah. uh, the nice protective displays, yeah. uh, it really it gives a peace of mind to the, uh, to the user and really gives you, you know, you're not paying a lot for it, but it's almost like adding a little insurance plan to your sure. phone. It's, it's, it's like in your, uh, your screen protector and your, your phone case embedded in the device as it is. Exactly so, right. So well, let's go through some of the devices here and just show off kind of what they have and maybe some, some of the uh, cool features that they have. Again, the, the niche features that they have on these devices. Yeah, so you're starting, you're kind of going chronologically okay. here. This is this is really one of the phones that started it all. This is our Kyocera Torque, and yep. you can see super ruggedized device. You know, this is a phone that is built to military specifications, uh, was built for the Sprint Direct Connect network initially. So real eye on the enterprise, the but also... CDMA Direct Connect. Right, that's yeah. right, that's right, using the QChat push-to-talk technology. Mm -hmm. And so it's a phone that's made to be, you know, extremely durable mm -hmm. uh, for use in the enterprise channel as well, but it's also proven to be very popular in the consumer channel, uh, people who do want that peace of mind, really, their phone can keep up with them. They don't have to worry about protecting their phone. Uh, nice feature set. It's an LTE 4G device. Uh, you have uh, really all the features you would want in this. Uh, one a feature in particular that's new and is proprietary to Kyocera is, I don't know if you can even see on the camera here, but the, at the top here, uh, just about any phone on the market is going to have a little hole here where the speaker goes. We've taken the speaker out of the phone. And again, this is all about usability. Uh, how often do you find yourself in a really loud environment where it's really difficult to hear your phone? What we've done is we've taken out that traditional speaker and replaced it with a little ceramic motor. Mm -hmm. Kyocera, going back 55 years, is short for Kyoto Ceramics. Mm -hmm. So we have this great industrial ceramics technology and expertise. We created this little ceramic motor that instead of using a traditional diaphragm for the speaker, mm -hmm. it, it takes the diaphragm out and replaces it with vibrations. Mm -hmm. So now you have two ways for the sound to get to your ear, your inner ear. You'll still, if you're... Uh, if you're holding the phone away from your ear, you'll still hear the sound like you would with a normal phone. Mm -hmm. But now, because of these vibrations, if you're in a very loud environment, simply by touching the phone to your head, around your ear, mm -hmm. those vibrations can go directly to your eardrum. That's freaky. It, you know, <laughs> the reaction to people when they see it for yeah. the first time is really, it, it's awesome. Yeah. Jaws drop. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, in a real world environment, which is, again, what we're really going after, if it's really loud and you can cover one ear mm -hmm. and you can even take the phone and use it to cover the other, mm -hmm. you're keeping the ambient sound out while those vibrations travel directly to your eardrum yeah. and you're getting that sound like there's nothing else going on around you. Yeah. So very nice uh, feature. It's in all of these oh, devices yeah. now and it is, uh, it's proprietary to Kyocera. We're the only ones who are doing it right now. Gotcha. And this device here is available through a lot of prepaid carriers right now? This particular device, the Torque is available only through Sprint, Sprint. Uh, because of the Direct Connect feature. Uh, so this was really the device that started the uh, when our move went toward the, the if you want to call it real world ruggedization
ruggedization, yes. everyday ruggedization. Yeah. This was the phone that really helped kick that off. We have a series called the Dura series of mm -hmm. phones. That It's not here today. It's the Push to Talk series. Yeah. Uh, phones like this, they're feature phones, super rugged. You can hit them with a hammer and they're not going to go anywhere. Uh, but Torque was really the one that brought that ruggedization forward. And that's what took us from here to get a series of phones that maybe aren't as ruggedized, sure. you know, don't have the I'm real early, beefy yeah. look to them. Even this phone, if you compare it to buying one of the aftermarket cases that yeah. would provide this kind of protection, isn't bad. Yeah. And it's gotten a really good reaction from consumers. But we wanted to build some phones that had that waterproof protection, yeah. uh, that added peace of mind, but that they're, they're mass market phones. They're phones that when you put them on the shelf with other phones, you wouldn't even know that they have that waterproof capability. And that's what led to the Hydro series. Okay. Uh, so our original Hydro launched back in 2012 with Boost Mobile, yep. and it sold like crazy with Boost. Uh, people loved it. Uh, sub $100, mm -hmm. prepaid, no subsidy. Yep. Uh, and based on that success, we came out with these three. This is the second generation of the Hydro series. Okay. And going right down the list, you have, uh, this is called the Hydro Edge. Uh, this is a phone that's selling through Sprint and Boost Mobile, okay. so prepaid or postpaid. Okay. Again, nice feature set. Uh, this phone is selling at postpaid with Boost Mobile, uh, sub $100, uh, with Sprint, uh, or sorry, yeah. prepaid. Uh, with Sprint postpaid, uh, you're going to get this phone basically for free with a contract. Yep. Uh, moving down here, I'll, I'll move to the end. This is the Hydro Extreme. Okay. Uh, this phone, we've taken that waterproof capability, and addition, in addition to that, uh, it's tough to see from a distance, but it almost has little bumpers on yeah, the corners here. Yep. We've built this phone to military spec, 810G mil spec, for shock and drops. Okay. Okay, so it's heavily tested for drops, uh -huh. and these are little bumpers to provide that added protection. But this is a phone, again, the ruggedized glass, the hardened glass yeah. display. Uh, you can drop this, you know, really give it a beating, mm -hmm. but without sacrificing the style. It and the, like a ruggedized phone. Exactly. Yeah. It's like that everyday phone. rugged look that you're looking for. Sure. And then we rounded out the set with the Hydro Elite. Okay. Uh, this is a phone that's selling at Verizon right now. Uh, this phone is free with a contract with Verizon, another 4G LTE phone. Uh, very nice feature set. Of the three, this is probably the highest spec phone. Okay. Uh, you're getting a nice dual core processor. I think it's 1.2 gigahertz mm -hmm. and 4.3 inch display. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice representative. You could probably call it a good solid mid-tier feature set mm -hmm. with that waterproof capability, that smart sonic receiver technology we talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it's a really nice device. Gotcha. Well, now, can we show off, I guess, the, the waterproof ability of these devices? Obviously, Absolutely. some devices out there, I know some companies uh, you know, say that their phones are water resistant. You can kind yeah. of, a little bit of water on them here and there. Sure. But these devices are really something that you can actually drop in the water and, and forget them for 20 minutes, oh well. It's a really good point that you make. There are a lot of solutions on the market, some other waterproof phones coming on the market. Yeah. I guess what we would say to that is not all waterproofing is created equal. Uh, you know, there are some spray coatings yes. that, you know, it's a nice lats ditch effort yeah. to save your phone sure. if something was to happen. No problem with that. By the time you pay to put that on, uh, you've almost paid for one of these phones to begin with. Uh, same with buying one of those big cases you yeah. can put on your phone. Uh, but with these devices, um, I'm taking the Hydro Elite here. Yep. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, we have this little, uh, little, this little tub here. But yeah. uh, you can see... Uh, Absolutely no problem You're here. Not worried at all about this. You're not worried about warranty issues right now. They're Absolutely okay. not. No, we use multiple ways to uh, to keep it waterproof. Uh -huh. uh, everything from rubber gaskets around the battery cover. Uh -huh. uh, we have. Uh, you'll see on here there are no covers for the headset mm -hmm. or the charging ports. They're actually waterproof ports. Uh, even over the speaker phones themselves. If you look at the uh, the holes in the back for the speaker phone function, yeah. behind those ports is actual material that's like Gore-Tex. Oh, okay. uh, so yeah. allows air permeability for the sound to come in and out, uh, but the water can't go in. Even down to the circuit board level, rubberized screws to hold everything together so water can't go through those screw holes. Yeah. Uh, it's built really from the ground up to keep the water out yeah. and to uh, to keep the circuitry inside dry. Okay. And so whether you drop it, spill on it, we can't do it here because yes. of the setting that we're in, but sure, sure. you know, how many times have you been at a restaurant with your phone out and knocked over a drink yeah, and... You know, you drop the phone in the sink, God forbid, the toilet. How many people have done that? 
Uh, this is the phone that you can. Oops, you can do it with. And you can drop it. You don't have to curse about it. That's right. You just fine. dry it off, hit the power, and you're right back in business again. That sounds good. Yeah. Well, and obviously now for Kia Sarah, you guys have definitely found a, a nice niche here, and, and obviously it's done pretty well for you guys. I know you guys have definitely gained market share over the past couple of quarters. That's right. Um, it seems like you guys have really uh, kind of found your legs in the U.S. market. Uh, maybe talk a bit about, I guess, the, that uh, that ability and kind of how you guys have been able to really kind of gain some traction here, when, when a lot of other companies have had have struggled really. Yeah, outside it, the big two. We feel very fortunate. Yeah. This uh, this direction that we're going with this durability, affordability, it's really seemed to strike a chord with consumers. Uh, you can look at market statistics, about 90 million people were predicted to get their first smartphones in about a three year period. Yeah. So when you look at those kind of numbers, for those types of people, they may not want to jump to a real high end phone where you're going to pay $200 subsidized or $600 yeah. pay as you go. Yeah, there are phones out there like that. They're beautiful devices, yeah. but they may, they're not right for everybody. Yeah. So with a device like this, we've been able to go in and serve that that segment of consumer uh, that's looking for that affordability. And quite frankly, the carriers are looking to fill that area mm -hmm. of their portfolio as well. Mm -hmm. What it's allowed us to do is if you go back a few years, back in about 2007, Kyocera wasn't selling to any national uh, carriers. Mm -hmm. Since then, uh, we've added Sanyo in 2008. Yeah. And then just in the last year, uh, with the, uh, the Hydro Elite, we went back into Verizon yep. uh, for the first time since about 2007. Yep. And then just recently, we added with the Hydro Extreme, we added T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. So we've gone from zero to three of the top four carriers in the US uh, and worked with a number of others on the MVNO, prepaid, uh, regional side. Uh, so it's really allowed us to, I guess, carve out a niche for ourselves. Yeah. Uh, and to your point, from a market share standpoint, in about the last three years, we've added uh, more than about a percent and a half in U.S. market share, which doesn't sound like a lot until you start thinking about how many units that yeah, represents exactly. in the market, yeah. uh, how many cell phones sell each year. Yeah. And just in the past year, we have numbers from uh, ITG Majestic uh, suggesting that we've gone from about number nine all the way up to number four, where mm -hmm. we're currently sitting in the U.S. market, number four in market share. Yeah, impressive, impressive. It's gone really well. We feel really, really fortunate and really confident in the, uh, the direction that we've gone with these devices. Sounds good. Well, John, definitely appreciate the time today. Thanks so much for the demonstrations. Absolutely. Thanks, Dan. All right. Thanks. Thanks.